Hi everyone, it's me Gaming Do, and today we are talking about what is quite possibly my all-time favorite state, Wyoming. And you guys may be wondering, I've been talking about this state a lot, especially with Woody. Why do you like Wyoming so much? Well, today you're going to get my answer in the top 10 reasons why Wyoming is underrated. And there, to me, is way more than 10, but since we're doing a top 10 list, we're only going to do 10, but there's plenty of reasons why this beautiful state is underrated. And why don't we get into those reasons, the top 10 reasons Wyoming is underrated. Okay, let's start by saying that Wyoming is the least populated state in the entire country. Having less than 600,000 residents, it may be a little bit lonely to some, but it's honestly pretty good to me. Now, it's not to say I don't want any social interaction or anything like that, but Living the quiet lifestyle that I think a lot of people in Wyoming live like because there's like almost no people here and it's very, very rural and the biggest city in the entire state has like a population of 60,000. Let me tell you this. The population of the biggest city in New York, my neighboring state to the north, is about, what, like 9 million? Compare that to Wyoming with Cheyenne at, like, 60,000. That is so much more populated. Um, New York City is over, like, 10 times, even more than that more populated than the entire state of Wyoming, which is way bigger than New York City and area. Yeah, it's pretty freaking quiet here. Very, 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 very quiet, as a matter of a fact. States like Indiana are like 10 times more populated. States like Georgia are 10 times more populated. The point is, Wyoming is a very unpopulated state, the most unpopulated state, and is the second least densely populated state behind Alaska. And in a way, that's the way I like it, but it might possibly be one of my least favorite aspects of the state, but it's definitely good for some people, and for the most part. It's pretty good for me. I mean, if your flag has a bison on it, I'm pretty sure this is a great flag. Bison are huge in Wyoming, especially in the Yellowstone area. So, what better animal to have on your flag than a bison? And as for the state seal... If I'm being honest, I don't really pay attention to that stuff. But, you know what? This is a truly great flag and one of my personal favorites in the country. Maybe not absolutely number one. I kind of like the design of Colorado's and Arizona. Arizona's probably my favorite flag in the country, in my personal opinion. That's just so creatively made. Um, and it looks great. I would also probably say that I might give a little bit of points to Texas because of how iconic it is. Wyoming might be third, though. I really like this flag, and it's one of my favorites in the country. When everyone thinks of beauty in Wyoming, they generally think of the western half of the state. I'm talking about the Grand Tetons, Yellowstone... Um, Jackson Hole, and just everywhere around that area. Not a lot of people know that, um, 
Wyoming has some beauty in the eastern half. Okay, it's not going to be the Grand Teton area or the Yellowstone area of the state, but still, it's pretty cool. And the coolest place of all in this part of the state is Devil's Tower, which basically is a giant rock tower, kind of. There's no other word of putting it. It's really cool. It's pretty much in the Black Hills, and it's awesome. It's beautiful. And, um, like I said, it's not quite to the level of the western part of the state, but it's still a great, great attraction to see in this beautiful state. Now, according to most Wyomingites, Jackson Hole and its entire area really isn't real Wyoming, especially since this is pretty much the only place in the state that votes liberal. And, well, I can kind of agree. But at the same time, it's a pretty cool town. I mean, you got this really cool old west type architecture that just looks awesome and it's in the mountains and I know there's plenty of other towns in the country that are like that but you got the uh antler arch which is awesome um it's a great place to go skiing and snowboarding now personally I'm too big to do that right now but Maybe in a couple years' time, when I lose a bit of weight, I I would probably try skiing and snowboarding. It seems very cool. And it's a great place to go skiing and snowboarding. So yeah, I know a lot of Wyomingites probably would say, if you're a true Wyomingite, stay out of Jackson Hole, but I think it's still pretty cool. It's a really cool area, and... Really, that's about all I have to say about that. Okay. I tried. I freaking tried. I tried my absolute hardest not to talk about me. But, could I handle that? No. And here is why. Wyoming is what I'd call another nickname, the meat state. This state is known for being very, 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 very heavy on meat eaters. This is a very carnivorous state. You can eat so many different types of meat, it's not even funny. You can eat jerky. You can eat steaks. You can eat sausages. You can eat chili. But that's not the only unique thing. It's... What kinds of meat you could eat here? You could eat beef, sure, but you could also eat bison, elk, and, um, there's something called Rocky o- Rocky Mountain Oysters. Try them. Oh, they're really good. Please try Rocky Mountain Oysters. They are the best thing to eat around here. They're cowboys. But yeah, all joking aside, guys, if you are a fan of meat, please come to Wyoming. If you're a vegetarian or a vegan, I wouldn't say Wyoming is especially the best state to eat in. But if you are a meat eater, Wyoming might just be the best state to eat food in. Wyoming is not going to be an especially great state for indoor lovers. But if you are an outdoor lover, there is not many states better than Wyoming. I mean, come on. When you got natural landscapes like the Grand Tetons and Jackson Hole and Yellowstone freaking National Park, there's bound to be pretty much anything you'd want to do in the great outdoors. There's, You can do it in Wyoming. You can fish, you can hunt, you can hike, you can ski, you can snowboard, etc. Just so many other things. You can go on horseback rides. So many things you could do outdoors in Wyoming. 
if you come here, do some outdoor stuff. Go on a hike. Go skiing or snowboarding. Um, go on a horseback ride. Do do whatever. Just if you're coming to Wyoming, spend your time outdoors. It'll be way way worth it. This one is more of an opinion of mine, but Wyoming is bordered by some of the best states in the entire country. You've got South Dakota, which for probably 85 to 90 percent of it is pretty much the same as the Midwest. But when you get to the last like 10 percent of the state and you enter the Black Hills, it's gorgeous to say the least. And Nebraska has some nice places too. It's probably my least favorite state that borders Wyoming, but it has some nice to it. The other states though, Colorado, Utah, Idaho, and Montana, pretty much razor thin being close to Wyoming in quality. I love all those states. Um, They're not especially welcoming from what I've heard, but you know what I say? Oh well. We all have the freedom to go wherever we want. So if you're planning on moving to somewhere like Wyoming or Colorado, just do it. The locals may not be especially happy, but It's a beautiful place with plenty of room for newcomers. Just don't try to change their ways. That's what they mainly try to say, and I agree with it. Don't try to change their ways. That's You're ruining their way of life. So don't try to change their ways. But if you're not coming to change their ways, these are some of the best states in the country to move to. Did you know that Grand Tetons means big titties? I'm not joking. I know that's inappropriate, but it's the truth. And, well, if you go just a little north of Jackson Hole, or the town of Jackson, you're going to get to a place called the Grand Tetons, which are giant rocky mountains that are... Stunning, to say the least. And, well, what can you do here? Bunch of outdoorsy stuff, that's what you can do. You can go fishing, you can go... I don't exactly know if you can go hunting, I think it's a protected area, but... Um, you can go fishing, I'm pretty sure, and, um... You can go hiking, for sure. I've even seen some people draw paintings in front of the Grand Tetons. That's amazing. I'd love to do that. I don't really know how to paint, but I think it'd be pretty cool to paint the Grand Tetons. This is just some of the stuff you can do at the Grand Tetons, but there's a bunch more stuff. They got, like, what? An old barn there that's really cool? And just... I'm going to go on and on about it if I keep doing this, but the Grand Tetons are one of the best places, not only in Wyoming, but the entire country. Now, what do I got in terms of wildlife for where I live? We have some black bears up in northern New Jersey and pretty much throughout the entire state. You'll see them on occasion. They're not as common as... um what I call um, New Jersey's state animal, at least in where, the part where I live, freaking deer. Deer are freaking rampant around where I live. Um, they are everywhere around where I live. They don't have an especially huge population in my state as a whole, but in the area I live in, we get a lot of deer. There's also some smaller animals like bunnies and um, groundhogs and stuff like that and skunks. What's in Wyoming? Grizzly bears, deer, mule deer, elk, moose, pronghorns, um, 
badgers. So many different types of animals, it's not even funny. There's also black bears there. There's also rabbits there. There's so many great animals to see. And if you're going on a road trip, oh, and you can't forget about the bison. Come on, pretty much might as well be the state animal of Wyoming. It's on the freaking flag, but um, the wildlife in this state might just be the most diverse wildlife in the entire country. Maybe not statistically, but there's just so many different types of animals here. Even the fish are very unique here. But if you want to come to a state to see wildlife, go up to the northwest corner of Wyoming and you will have the time of your life. And what is the number one thing you think of when you think about Wyoming? Why, it's Yellowstone National Park, which is a grand majority in this state. And... It's one of not only the most beautiful places in America, but on Earth. And in my personal opinion, it might just be the most beautiful place on Earth. You can have unique waterfalls and stuff like that that are beautiful. You can have beautiful white sandy beaches. You can have really high mountains up in Alaska and stuff like that. But to me... Nothing compares to the beauty of Yellowstone National Park. My personal opinion, this is the most beautiful place on planet Earth. All the geysers that are here, they have high mountains here. There's Old Faithful. There's the Yellowstone. Um, I don't know exactly how you say it. I should, but... It's the volcano that's basically going to erupt. All the colors combined to show that, especially in this picture. It's breathtaking. Yellowstone National Park is the most beautiful place on planet Earth, in my opinion. And I plan on visiting here one day. And I plan on going... Not in the near future, but... I'd like to go, say, in the next 10 years. I'd like to go before I turn 30, is my point. And I... This is the best part of the entire state for me, is seeing this absolute wonder of the world inside of this pretty unpopulated state, but a great state nonetheless. So yeah, today we talked about my, might be my favorite state, it's definitely up in the top three, Wyoming, this is just such a great state with so much to offer, it may be a little bit sparsely populated for you and it may be slightly boring if you're more of an indoorsly person, but if you can get used to the great outdoors, this is a great state for you. Just don't try to change the way of the people, and you'll have a good time here. So, yeah, that's about it for this video. If you're asking what the next state is going to be, well, you'll have to find out. All I'm going to say is we're going to be leaving this region for a little while, and we're going to be going to a certain state that we missed in a region that I was before. We're going to be talking about none other than the Great Lakes State. Stay tuned next for my top 10 reasons Michigan is underrated.